inspiration behind it and all that stuff but like I feel like for a lot of artists sometimes it can be hard to translate that onto paper or on like visually translate that visually or like communicate that visually so I think like with Sebastian the way that he kind of has it so clearly it's kind of um, it's like not only how do I say this like because he's been doing it for so long, so he's really good at it, but also I think it's his subject matter that kind of also um, pushes him. Because he can't, with that kind of subject matter, like, it's crucial that you communicate it clearly, otherwise it's just going to look messy. So. And it, it, it seems really clear, you know, from his work that that subject matter is deeply like personal to him. To and that was something that you all talked about, you know, really when you're dwelling on you know issues or ideas or topics that really feeling passionate about or it's speaking to you in some way how important that really is okay. all right those are all um, great reflections thank you all for sharing and that's helping us all kind of think mm -hmm. this through all right well thank you um, we'll go next okay. uh, great so for our big idea one oh okay so i wrote this um Okay, I'm just going to read it because it's Yeah, cool. it's um, okay if you want to just read it. It's focus fun. on the varying cultures, specifically cultures unaffected by the modern age, lends a human element to his work. And this is the part that interests me the most. I would like to do work like this, focusing on humanity in such a pristine way. Because I really like his focus on, like, he really, like, the emotion in a lot of, in all his photos, especially the ones that contain people, is so clear and so raw for some of them. And I think, like, I really didn't know what was meant by big ideas, but like I was just thinking, like it'd be I'd really like to do like a photo series to folk that kind of has that same element, the same like human emotion element to it. Um. Oh yeah. Um. See insights. Um. So he has recurring themes of darkness versus lightness because we notice the contrast in a lot of his work, which bring his pieces more to life and brings more emotion to his pieces. And I kind of piggybacked off that because the chart had written the top. And I said, the high contrast present in each photo lends an almost otherworldly air to the pieces. Because they look so surreal when you look at them. I think when the, because the, um, the contrast is so high in his composition, he frames the pictures just like perfectly. And it looks as though they were almost manipulated in Photoshop if they weren't. Um, wonder slash questions. Why does the artist evoke such raw emotions through his pieces? And I would say, how does he do that? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. And then how does he, and then my question is, how does Slashia decide which pictures to take and how to compose them? And how does he find these people in these places? Those are really interesting questions. What are you all thinking about that? Responses or thoughts? work is really pretty when it's black and white. Um, I think like a lot of it, I think, I don't know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, just, I was struck by two things that you said with the big ideas. The idea, I thought, the way he does things, that rawness and that pristine kind of feel about it. Those are kind of, that's like interesting juxtaposition or combination you know, of ideas um, thinking about his work and uh, um, I just that, that struck me as well I mean that would be neat if you could have a conversation with him maybe to like you ask him a little bit more. Are we going to have a conversation? If we did. Oh I got like really I was like <laughs> <laughs> but, um, we watched my, I don't know with him but maybe we're, we might try to send these up, um, other artists, so we'll see what we can finagle. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it at that for now. I've got a little homework to do, so. <laughs> okay. What else? Well, I was going to say, <laughs> we watched an interview with him, in it, and he talked about a lot of this stuff. Like, um, I think to me, the way that I kind of, the way that he takes the photos, and I think, in a way, what struck me the most was the respect he has for um, the people whose photos he took. Um, it almost seemed to kind of, he, he seemed to kind of be like um, in reverence or reverent of them. Like, his photos are so deliberate, because you know, like he said in the interview, he stays with them for like 
like, I don't know how long, I think, I feel like twice is like months or weeks before he actually takes the photo, which is where I got the, where, where I started thinking, like, how does he even decide, like, how to photograph it or what to take or what um, elements to, or what things to capture. But yeah, I mean, he talked <coughs> a lot about how um, he wanted to capture, like, the side or the, like, a version of Earth that wasn't what we're used to. And so I think that that's how, or why I feel like, um, like the pristine like thing I said. And then also, I think one of the other things over there I wrote down, um, it, it's almost like he considers these people and these places sacred. And I noticed um, in the ride around yesterday, there, there was, I know, at least one comment somebody talked about, you know, the rest of the world might look at them as um, maybe lesser because they're not, you know, technologically advanced or like a, quote, first world country. But there was a statement about how, you know, he, really his photography brings out the importance of like every every group of people has their humanity and that kind of goes back I know the theme of unity and you know being trying to feel a sense of connectedness to um, people that initially we think are very different from us and that otherness but then finding maybe there's not as much difference as we think so that's a I think interesting about his work yeah, I find his work um, his work very unifying no matter what his subject matter is. It's all like very much like one part of one thing. Even though it's so many different places and things he's photographing at all. I think that's like the central idea about like preservation. Oh, that's a cute let's hold on to that word. Think about that preservation. Okay, great. Okay, um do y'all want to do this? Thank you. For our big ideas, we wrote down the environment, their world, countries, <coughs> and intention before aesthetic. So, like talking about what Valerie said, how he was living in the environment, like weeks before he even chose what to take photographs of. And we also wrote down the words pristine, pure, and raw. I think that's a really uh, important aspect of his work. Um, and also, a true artist does not need to explain his or her intention. I saw that a lot when I was walking mm -hmm. around the table. Um, how, like the the piece almost speaks for itself, and there really isn't any description that is required for us to feel the kind of emotions and um, what he intended to uh, provoke. And like for the insights, we mostly talked about like the technical strategy, so like contrast, uh, composition, variation, confidence in execution, and how he was able to really have like a passion and like a deep care about the subject matter um, and how he wanted to expose the audience to the rare sights and to have them feel the raw emotions and then for our questions we had like more than two but it was how does he achieve such vivid uh, technically strong pieces have his pieces influence the world at all how do his pieces impact him and how does he choose where to go and like, uh, how does he know about the places he goes to? Those are great questions and I think it's interesting like we're seeing some common threads kind of in some of your reactions with your ideas and insights and it, it may or may not be interesting as we move forward whether um, some of you choose to further investigate him or another artist and we look at their work um, and our own that we're creating to see, you know, is there anything in our own work or the work of other artists that tie back maybe into some of those big ideas or connections? I think um, what I found really interesting about what they said was when you said a true artist is not going to explain his or her intention. Um, I think the, the thing about intention, like I was saying before, but like, um, I think a, a, a piece, or like a photo or a work or whatever with release, I think the difference between um, a piece, a weak, like a weak piece and a really strong piece with strong intention is that I feel like the weaker piece kind of requires explaining, whereas the stronger piece almost inspires questions. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, interesting. like, if his work wasn't as strong as he was, as it was, it would require explanations. Like, okay, well, what are you, what are you, why are you photographing this? Mm -hmm. You know, like, what are you 